Mina, konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. More being filled with the Spirit, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18. And do not be drunk with wine in which is dissipation, but be filled with the Spirit. You might have that verse memorized by the end of the series if you watch them all. I Hopefully I will as well. <laughs> not just a general idea, but an actual memorization as I talked about in my last video. Memorizing the Bible is important. So as I preach and as I teach... I'm kind of I'm getting it myself. It's also coming into my mind and coming into my heart. It's really interesting because I think well, I come from a charismatic church, so I hear it a lot at least. People in denominational churches or people that don't go to church period may not be well, well aware of this, but as far as the whole being filled with the spirit thing, it seems to be a very common phrase in the church that I go to, and it is often kind of thought of in a almost a drunken way. The Holy Spirit is compared with wine quite often in the, in the charismatic Pentecostal non-denominational circles because especially when you hear about the whole being slain in the Spirit and the whole, the whole gifts and miracles and the people swinging from the chandeliers and all that crazy stuff. I haven't swung from a chandelier yet. Uh, and it would have to be really, really sturdy before I chose to swing from it. And that's really neither here nor there. But this is really the only verse in the Bible where being filled with the Spirit is equated with being drunk. It's the only one. It's a fairly popular verse, especially in my brand of church. But it's really only mentioned that one time. Whenever you see being filled with the Spirit mentioned in other parts of the Bible, uh, the Old Testament also says something along the lines of the, the Spirit of God came upon them. I personally would equate that with the New Testament being filled with the Spirit. And usually this would accompany some form of action. Um, I was reading in the book of Samuel recently where the Spirit of God came on Saul and he mustered the troops of Israel to battle against the Philistines. And they won. And then Saul was inaugurated as their king. So the Spirit of God came upon him to fight and to kill. Yes, that, <laughs> that sounds super horribly controversial. Um, I've said it on this channel before. I will say it again. Genocide was ordered by God in the, New, in the Old Testament. Not the New. In the Old Testament. People being killed was ordered by God in the Old Testament. And the Bible doesn't apologize for it. I'm not going to apologize for it. The Old Testament is a part of the Bible. And that's another topic that I have covered before and will cover again at another point. Not the purpose here. In the New Testament, where we're supposed to convert people and not kill them, <laughs> a fairly radical shift, so to speak, one that I'm a huge fan of since I'm of Gentile descent and not Jewish descent. Glad I wasn't um, mass murdered at some point in the past. That makes me very happy. Oh, I wonder how many dislikes this video is going to get. But anyway, in the New Testament, when you look at being filled with the Spirit, instead of being ushered into warfare, typically it's um, speaking in tongues, or prophesying, or preaching the Word of God, going out to spiritually conquer, going out to kill bad ideas and bad ideologies. But this verse compares it with being drunk with wine, and it's the only one where it is. I'll explore that later, possibly tomorrow, maybe, or maybe tomorrow Sunday, that's the bit, that's the 30 minute one. I may or may not wrap up the series, or maybe I'll just do 30 minutes and keep on going. But either way, it's something very well spoken of in the charismatic church. There's really only one verse about it, as far as comparing it to wine. And it's not a bad analogy, if it's even only in one verse, it's still a worthwhile analogy. But usually being filled with the Spirit isn't compared to drunkenness, it's compared to action something happening not just yeah, i feel so great god good it's usually something very proactive something very clear-minded something that requires full motor function full intellectual capacity to do so in that regards many of my charismatic brothers and sisters have dropped the ball on being filled with the spirit so my time is pretty much up here i'll get into that in another video thank you very much for watching this I love you, and God bless.